Evening guys, down here in Ohio, in the cabin obviously, uh, trying to get some videos done for my channel for you guys, as well as uh, put some out for this cabin fever series that I'm doing with Dave. So uh, tonight I'm going to start working on a project for my single shot 12. I'm going to go ahead and weave a sling for it, uh, get that mounted on there. So shoot a video of that for you guys. So I got some, uh, basically it's a heavy duty jute twine. I've already broke this one down, it's a three strand. Uh, give you a peek at that, what it looks like. It's a pretty thick stuff, it's more like a rope. Uh, like I said, I've already broke some down. I gotta do the same to this one. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like before I did that. So I'll. We'll break this down. I got some uh, sling mounts picked up at the gun show. Uh, Dave picked them up for me while he was there at the Indy. So uh, good to go on these. So I'll take uh, one of these for now after I break down the jute twine here. Get it fixed to one of these and I'll start my weaving and we'll show you guys that as we go here. So I did picked up some hemp. I was uh, had some green and some brown that I was gonna do this with, but it wasn't quite thick enough. I started weaving it, and uh, the strap would have came out way too thin for my likings anyway. It would have looked cool, but I'm gonna try to get a pretty decent strap out of this if I can. Something that'll sit on my shoulder good enough without digging into it being so thin you know so I'm just gonna keep breaking this down uh, give me enough pieces and, uh, and we'll start weaving guys so we got our jute rope if that's what you want to call it all broke down so I'm gonna end up with six strands that I've started putting through my sling mount for my gun and uh, essentially I'm going to bring it halfway through what I've got cut here so I'm going to end up with 12 strands which is what I'm going to be weaving and hopefully that will give me a thick enough strap uh, which is what I'm looking for so I'm going to get this pulled halfway somewhat sorted out here pretty much a pile of spaghetti right now but uh, we'll get this straight and then we'll get to weaving alright guys so this is where we're at uh, Got my swivel mount here. My uh, jute halfway pulled through it. Again, which gives me 12 strands to work with. It's going to be a pain in the neck trying to keep this stuff from twisting, but do the best we can. So go ahead and start this. <coughs> Try to line them up here fairly even because you can mess this up real easy try to keep them all the same here all right guys hopefully you can see that I know the lighting's not the greatest but I went, and went ahead and started it just to get myself situated so you guys can see it a little bit of what's going on here. I'm starting from the left side always. <clears throat> going with my furthest left piece. I'm going to go over the first piece. Under the next piece. Over the next one under the next one so on and so forth it can kinda get confusing in here that's why I was saying you really gotta pay attention to what you're doing you can screw it up so I went under that one now this next piece that because I folded it in half there's a piece that lays in the front and a piece that lays in the back 
So the piece that lays in the front, obviously you want to go over it and under the one in the back, which will bring it to the front on the next pass. So I went under there, go over this front one, under the back one, over the next front one, under the back one, yeah, under the back one, over this front one, under the back one, and then when you end it, you can see I have one laid up top here that's laying over. That was my last one on the last pass. So I can go ahead and bring that down now. And I went under this last one, so I'm going to have to go over this one. So I'll drop that down behind, pull all this through. Pull it all tight, and I'm going to put this one up around the nail there. So I know that's my last one, and then start over again from the beginning. Pull that tight. So again, the first one's going to want to go over, so I take that back strand. Go over the front one, under the back one, over the front one, under the back one over the front, under the back, and just keep going like that. Over the front, under the back, over the front, under the back, pull that through. So under the back again, I can take my top one down, go over it, pull everything tight, Wrap that up on the nail and start over. Start over. So I'm going to go ahead and run this out, guys, so you ain't sitting here watching pond water. And uh, I'll get back to you when I get a little bit more finished. Guys, this is what it looks like so far. The swivel up there. It'll look a little nicer with some different colors like I planned on, but I'm liking how it's coming out. This, uh, jute is thick enough it's giving me a wide enough strap so I like that a lot but it's getting late so I'm gonna work on this tomorrow night you know so stuff you do at camp when you got you know time during the night can't be out hunting or trapping you know do some camp tasks so that's where we're at got about a foot done plenty to go so we'll uh, continue on with that tomorrow all right, morning guys. <clears throat> uh, rather than wait until tonight, I have some time I can kill here in the morning. So I'm gonna get back to this weaving here. Uh, Dave ran out checking some traps. So uh, pretty much waiting on him to get back. Put some hot chocolate on the go back here. So I'm uh, just continue weaving our gunsling here.
Alright guys, so this is where we're at. I got about three feet or so. Get this ball off of there for you. Good good three feet. Uh, plenty long enough for me. So we uh, got to the end here. I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish this up. Different camera angle. Hang tight. So here we are at the end. I'm going to take couple of these and start I'm going to tie them in a knot and then I'm going to start braiding them basically I'm just gathering them up here leave myself a loop so I can get it through the other swivel here and I should be good I'm going to be able to mount it to our gun here we have Dave forging away in the background man. doing some work for the cabin so just a uh, square knot, taking two at a time, tying them and trapping the next string. I'll be able to actually cut some of these off here because I don't need 12 strands for the next one. gonna finish this up. You can see like I said I'm just taking two, tying it up, trapping one inside just with a square knot, moving on to the next. So I'll get this end buttoned up and we'll move on to our, our sling mount. Alright guys, this is what we ended up with for our gun swing. Show you the wheel up here a little bit better. Not too bad. I braid at the end. That's going to be the top part of my shoulder. That's where I started it. But uh, not too bad. So all we got to do now, mount it to our 12 gauge stock here. Guys, there it is. Let's uh, try it out. Right over the shoulder. It's uh, just a touch long. Just a touch, not really, but it's good because I still got a couple more layers I could put on. Right over the shoulder there. Not bad, pretty happy with that. Uh, the weave came out pretty good. 
Uh, glad I went with the thicker stuff uh, over that thinner stuff that I started with. Uh, more comfortable, I think, that way. So, uh, there's a little video on finger weaving for you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it's not too long by the time I'm done editing it. But uh, thanks for all your views, comments, and your support. We'll see you real soon in another video. Thanks, guys.